Now, we're going to have a word about, uh, we just had a wonderful children's camp, and Ms. Booty Terrell is going to come and give a report on what happened there, and it was an exciting time. Last Monday through Friday, 30 preteen uh, campers and six adult shepherds from our church were privileged to attend Mount Lebanon Baptist Encampment near Cedar Hill, Texas. The theme for the week was, obviously, can you read my shirt, Glow. And I see some of the campers. I see Brock and DJ. I think I saw Matthew. Y'all help me. It's an acrostic that stands for, y'all help me, Go Light Our World. Very good. The week was filled with, with meaningful Bible study and worship. Lots of laughter, lots and lots of walking, uh, lots of fun activities. We had the zip line. We had the rock climbing. We had um, some scorpions and um, <laughs> some roaches and um, some mice. Um, but every activity that we uh, participated in, you had an opportunity to apply God's word. After the activity, whether it was the challenge course or the zip line or a game, some games we played, the staffers would gather your group around and would uh, ask questions to prompt you uh, thinking how you could apply God's word um, in, in that game and thus in your life, like trust and There was even some um, games that taught us evangelism and sharing God's word. There were some challenge courses that taught us uh, teamwork, of course, and even being still before God. So I I had not attended a camp that actually every activity, they brought you together and you saw how you could apply God's word. So that was really great. Um, We had worship services twice a day. You had it in the morning, 11 to 12, and then you had it in the evening at 8. The speaker for the week was a fellow by the name of Keith Coast, and he used captivating demonstrations to speak to the campers. Um, The most vivid was probably Wednesday night when he took a, um, it was about a a two-and-a-half, three-foot round black balloon, and he blew it up. It was, you know, gigantic, six feet, eight feet in diameter. And he worked himself into that balloon where he was completely in the balloon, and the balloon was still full of air. And it was, and he, he spoke from inside the balloon and talked about how dark it was inside the balloon. And that he, if he remained in the darkness, he would eventually, of course, run out of air and die. And um, he was showing the, the campers that... If they remain in darkness, and darkness, of course, symbolizing sin, that they will eventually run out of air and die, and die without Christ. And we had seven campers acknowledge their need for Christ that night. So that was that was wonderful. Um, I want to thank you for your prayer support, and um, I don't know who. Well, I think Jim and Kathy Dean organized it, but each of you who wrote letters. It was so special to come in from an activity, and on your bed would be a letter. It means so much to get um, a a message from home. And every, y'all wrote letters, so many of you, I see your faces. You wrote letters, and every student, every camper received a letter. And I just want you to know it it meant so, so much. The scriptures, two of the scriptures we uh, focused on were... um, of course, Psalm 119, 105, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And then um, Matthew 5, 14, um, A city set on a hill cannot be hidden, nor does a man light a lamp and put it under a bushel, but he puts it on a lampstand so that it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. So, The challenge to us and the challenge to you is to go light our world. Um, Do the gospel. Don't just speak it. Do it. So thank you so much. 